if you implement this one thing that I'm about to share with you today, then your life is going to improve significantly in all areas. I'm talking about increasing your IQ with 23% according to studies on average, slowing down aging, becoming more confident and comfortable in who you are, making you more happy and feel more at peace. It would also help you attract the person that you're meant to be with and the job you're meant to have to help the world and make you feel fulfilled. I got this topic idea from the YouTuber The Wizardless and she has the same um, video title. But what she talks about is manifestation using the law of attraction. And yes, this is super powerful. But if you have limiting beliefs, like most of us do, it doesn't matter how many times you repeat your affirmations throughout the day, it will do nothing. Also, I don't know if there's any studies about manifestation, but this thing I'm about to share with you, there's been hundreds of studies showing its benefits. So now you might be wondering, what is this thing, Julia? Just tell us what will help us increase our IQ, be more confident, lower stress. What is it? The answer is daily meditation. And you don't even have to do it for an hour. 10 minutes is enough. And you can build up from there. And I know many of you are probably disappointed to hear this because you've probably tried at one point in your life to do meditation. And as you know, if you've tried it, is that your ego hates meditation. It will try everything to make you stop. Suddenly you will feel itches in your body. You'll do anything to put it off, even cleaning the house several times. Your ego will hate it. That's why it's so important to not be hard on yourself when your mind wanders. Instead of celebrating every time you have a session where you don't have many thoughts, just celebrate when you've put in the time. So let's say that you want to meditate for 15 minutes per day. Celebrate that you went through it no matter how many thoughts you had, no matter how much you were struggling. That's what you should celebrate. Because it's about putting in the time to build that habit. If you've read Atomic Habits, which you should, it's an amazing book, then you know how important it is to just to put in the time to get the habit going. Because if you don't do this daily, then you will lose the benefits. Now you might be thinking, but Julia, I don't have time. I have my nine to five jobs. I have kids. I have friends. Like, how am I going to have time for this in my day? Well, the good news is meditation will actually make you as rested as sleep, if not even more, because you're not twisting and turning and you're getting into just as deep brain waves. So it's really uh, rejuvenating for the body. So you can actually take some time from your sleep and then put it towards meditation instead. So let's say that you sleep for an average of seven hours per day. Then let's say you want to meditate for 20 minutes uh, per day. Then you can set your alarm so that you only sleep for six hours and 40 minutes and then take those 20 minutes and meditate instead. So that way you get your meditation in, but you haven't taken any time out of your day because you woke up earlier. And it doesn't matter how you meditate, find your style. You can experiment with Zen meditation, mindfulness meditation, Vipassana, mantra meditation to have a mantra you love that you repeat in your mind. Experiment and see what works for you. I actually have a meditation challenge playlist on my YouTube channel. Check it out if you're not sure about which style you like. Have you ever tried meditating? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear how you found it and the benefits you've experienced. Love you so much and have a beautiful day.